five game of the week. Syracuse defense, the best in the conference in opponent points and yards per game, while posting the second best opposing QBR. However, Clemson's offense much improved. DJU playing well, scoring nearly 40 points a game as the quarterback nearly doubled his passing touchdowns numbers from last season already. We always have a target on our back. We're going to get everybody's best. We're going to get everybody's A game. We're that game that's circled every time the schedule comes out. And so that just comes with being at Clemson. 37 teams have went down there. 37 teams have tried and 37 teams have not been successful. Coaches, staffs, and everything else. There's a reason why they call it Death Valley. It's a hard place to win at. Now that being said, I always like the movie Dumb and Dumber. So you're telling me we got a chance. <laughs> so you're saying there's a chance, Sam Macho. I like that spirit. Listen, he's not wrong. Death Valley is a tough place to play. This is a tough team to play against. Can Syracuse run the ball against Clemson, which I think will be necessary? Well, it absolutely will be necessary, and time will tell. I mean, Syracuse, what they do really, really well, they run this play called, like, the stretch play. It's almost like a zone to one way, and then Sean Tucker, their outstanding running back, cuts the ball downhill, downfield. But the thing that stops that play is a penetrating defense. That's what Clemson does really, really, really well. And so if you go and watch the tape that we're about to play, you're going to see what Sean Tucker does well. You're going to see this offensive line. You're going to see all the people in NC State inside. Sean Tucker has a couple different places he can cut this ball back. He uses his vision, sees two guys outside, he cuts it inside. Vision again, looks inside, makes a cut, and gets back outside. This is what Sean Tucker does well in this offense. Yes, he runs for the Syracuse track team as well, so he's got speed. Same thing. This is the last play of the game, last, his last rush of the game. Same thing. We see a stretch, but this is going to be a designed cutback, and Garrett Schrader, the quarterback, is going to get not one, but two blocks. But it works because Sean Tucker not only has the speed and elusiveness, but because the offensive line could create gaps and create holes. Here's the issue. Clemson is a top 35 defense. Syracuse hasn't played a top 35 defense yet, and they get penetration. The one thing that stops stretch plays, zone plays, it's penetration. So I don't believe, to answer your question, my dissertation, I don't believe that Syracuse will be able to run on Clemson. Uh, it's just, I think Clemson is just a better defense. Look, uh, we handed out midseason report cards, so you can give a dissertation, Sam, <laughs> at the midway point. We'll allow it at this time. Listen, Steve, Clemson cannot look past Syracuse. Listen, they know, they know that. They, there's history there. But do the Tigers, in your opinion, have the easiest path to the playoff? Because they're thinking long term. Yeah, I do, Wendy. When you look at the schedule, four home games left, starting with Syracuse. A trip to Notre Dame. That look, doesn't look as daunting after last week at Stanford going there and winning. And then you got Louisville, Miami, South Carolina. And if the season ended today, they would play the winner of North Carolina and Georgia Tech in the ACC title game. I think this road is, is there. They have their defense back. I think the offense has been fine and scored 30 in every game plus. So I think both sides of the ball are going to ascend. We're going to see Dabo start doing some more interviews, maybe politic it for his team to make sure they are in as an undefeated team. Uh, but, yeah, I think I think little old Clemson is going to be fine when the playoff comes around. And Dabo shouldn't need to politic for his team. You talked about it. They're undefeated now, but they're playing better on both sides of the ball. And so I think Clemson can and will win out. And I think if they do, they will be in that conversation for the top four playoff teams. How about this? Clemson uh, has a 37 home game winning streak. Syracuse hopes to snap that. But, fellas, that's a lot of games. They have not lost in Death Valley in 37 <laughs> games.